So DTB is a professional wealth management company with a unique approach to uh, helping clients uh, put meaning to their means. And you guys are here today to share some exciting news with us. Thanks, Maurice. Absolutely. We are so excited today to announce that uh, David Tebrugge, sitting over here, will be joining DTB Wealth as a new partner and senior advisor from the 1st of March. And uh, Reg and I have been working on David for a long time now. Um, and it's just all come to fruition. So it's just, it's wonderful. It's going to be the start of a very successful, hopefully new relationship for all of us and our clients. Talking to you guys, you, you certainly have a very uh, unique or interesting story and in, in how you got together. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Adam, you and David uh, met each other during your cricket days at, at Gauteng Cricket. Tell us about that. Well, we, we, we come from di different ends of the spectrum. I'm an opening batsman, Dave is an opening bowler, and uh, we shared the cricket field at the Wanderers and changed them for many years, playing for Gauteng Cricket over the years. Um, very uh, wonderful times, and we got to know each other as teammates then. Um, Dave, I don't know if you want to carry yeah, on with yeah, this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, uh, Adam and I go way back, uh, must be pushing on 30 years, Marius, but um, over many long hot days in the cricket field or in the change room or on, a, on an aeroplane or on a tour bus, you know, I think Adam and I shared, a, I suppose, an interest in what lay beyond cricket. And I think we both identified very quickly that uh, uh, the financial services or the, the wealth management industry was something that both appe appealed to us. And so we sort of developed the interest from there. And, um, you know, post-cricket, post um, there, um, there was always that, that possibility that, that something like this, like this would happen. We, we, we tried different kind of skills. David always felt that he, he had the talent with the bat and me with the ball. I don't think we, I don't think we ever batted <laughs> out there in the middle, maybe once. And, and, a few and, times, I think. Yeah. And yeah, yeah certainly um, I'm really hoping that the next period of our lives we'll have lots of batting partnerships out there. I don't think we'll be taking hopefully too many wickets, but building up some nice partnerships together. So that tells me about your story, um, but how did you connect with Reg? Well, that's, that journey started probably 20-odd years ago in around, around about 2003, Marius. I was uh, sitting in a hospital recovery bed at uh, Linksfield uh, Hospital, uh, and the gentleman next to me happened to be Reg's partner at the time. And uh, we got chatting, and he told me what he did, and uh, it immediately piqued my interest around the industry and, uh, and the opportunities. So I asked him a lot of questions, and anyway, I thought nothing of it. And a couple of weeks later, the phone rang, and... Um, set up a meeting and went into to the business and that's where I met uh, Reg for the first time and I suppose Reg saw something he didn't kick me out immediately and uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah what actually happened was that my partner came had his knee up and he came back and I said blah 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 and he was talking about the experience and he said because uh, my family was always a cricket fanatic so we always talked about the cricket and he um, he said there was this tall red-haired guy <laughs> The, I can't remember his name, but like a funny name, and he was in the bed next to me, and I said, was he a bowler? He said, yeah, I think it was a David de Brugge. And I said, Do you phone him right now. He's coming <laughs> for coffee. Uh, and David and David came in, and uh, we did, hit it off right away. It was it was quite exciting because, as he says, it's many years ago, it's about 20 years mm -hmm. ago, um, I then mentored uh, David to uh, not sound patronising, but he was still a little boy, yeah. and I, wa I was still a young man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, he got his CFP, he went th uh, throughout the country with me, we saw many clients, and it, it was a, a fantastic start to a friendship. And then shortly thereafter, uh, David went on to... To Investec. Invest to Investec, yeah. yeah. So what, what, when, when David left, um, and, and my previous partner and I, he moved to Cape Town, so we split the business very extra equitably, and um, I then was looking for some other guys to work with, somebody else, uh, because the approach that, I, that we were using and that I enjoyed was that we were always twofold, because it was the way we dealt with clients, you know, looking at the human side as well as the, the number side. Um, and obviously I, 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 I remembered... Uh, Adam and I remember David and I said to them uh, could we meet and we met uh, for a meeting and which was quite exciting that there were some possibilities of something developing but then in, then what happened was I, I, I thought about it a lot and I thought let me talk to one of my uh, clients Ant Delport uh, who'd, who'd been a, a founder of, of one of the 
incredible connection and he was a good businessman and he came up with some good ideas. And we were there for a couple of hours at his home and I suddenly said to him, Ant, why don't you become my partner? And he said, are you crazy? I know nothing about you and I trust you. I said, don't worry, I'll teach you. And I did. Uh, and it started a, an excellent partnership that developed. And of course, as we all know, Ant was, was with me for 15 years. Yeah. But then you had to go back to these guys, I suppose. Yeah, that wasn't a nice call that I received uh, from Reg a week later to say, I've got good and bad news. And he said to me, the bad news for you and David is that I'm not going to form a business with you. And the good news, I've sold half my business. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that, that was the end of part one of our story, yeah. which okay. actually meant that myself and David, we went our own ways for a while. Um, Dave, where did you go from there? I went to Investec uh, fairly short, uh, shortly thereafter, spent around 14 years at Investec Wealth and Investment, looking after and advising and managing some of the interests of some of South Africa's wealthiest families and individuals and entrepreneurs. And I suppose more, or less, more recently with Anchor Capital. And, but always over the course of that period, you know, always stayed in touch with Reg and particularly Adam. You know, like, like Reg mentioned, he did mentor me and I considered him a, a mentor. Mm. And Adam, obviously, we go back a long way. So there was always this possibility that something might, might happen. And Adam I, yourself? I, yeah, I also went on my own way. Um, I went from a big corporate, I went to a, a smaller um, company. And then eventually, I thought that I could actually start my own wealth management business. And I remember this guy, Reg Thompson, I'd only have a brief interaction <laughs> with him, but he, he, you know, he spoke about mentoring and that's, that's the role I could see. And I went to Reg and I said, what do you think? And he said, absolutely. He said, back yourself and, and go for it, um, which was, sounded very easy. <laughs> um, I had a nice client base and I, uh, I started on my own, but where was I going to have an office? Um, I didn't want to be on my own. I wanted to be with other wealth managers that I could interact with. And I saw in Reg and Ant's office, they had a lovely little space there. Um, and I said, you know, Reg, what about me coming into that space? And it was, it was the start of part two for us. Um, 11 years, we shared an office together, um, which is some of the most wonderful years that I've ever spent. We were separate businesses, Adam Bucker Wealth Management and Delport and Thompson. Uh, we had some memorable client breakfasts together where my clients got to know Anton Reg and their clients got to know me and I think it we always knew that that there could be something building within this um, and that was that was start of part two with Reg and I with very happy times in an office sharing together um, with what was possibly going to come in the future. And now we're here today with this exciting news, the three of you together, but how, how did you end up together then? Well, as, as Adam was saying, when he moved into our offices, we obviously got to know each other. And Ant and I then spoke to Adam and we talked and agreed after some period of time that we would merge the businesses and, and that we would be ideal because we, we have the same approach to, to working with our clients. Um, and, and that's what happened. And it was on a particular about... 18 months ago, on a particular Monday morning um, at 8 o'clock, we signed the, the agreements which merged our businesses and everything was done. And unfortunately, about five hours later that afternoon, and Delport passed away, unfortunately, which was a, a tragedy uh, for me particularly. Um, <clears throat> yeah, as, as Reg mentioned, that the passing of Ants, um, such a such a great person, such a strategically brilliant businessman was a huge shock to us. It left us not knowing what path to follow. But, you know, Reg and I, we got together and we said, actually, we need to make this DTB Wealth a success, a resounding success in honor of Ant. And always we've got that feeling that, you know, that there was someone who should be part of this relationships that's not. He was a great friend and a business partner. But, um, you know, we, we, we do a lot in his honor within this business. So this tragic event brought you guys to a crossroads of sorts because the business needed to go on. Thank God Adam was there to, to take the business forward and he was, he was brilliant while I went in circles trying to sort out what I wanted to do. But we decided we we're going to move forward. And then, of course, the earlier friendships that I had developed with David came out again. And David started talking to us and we, with the negotiations began. And the good news is that next week, on the 1st of March, we will, it will be, in fact, be signing next Monday, yeah. just a few days before the 1st of March, we will all be partners in the business. Very yeah. So beside the three of you, uh, you are actually supported by a great team of people within uh, 
DTB Wealth. Now, Arna, you seem to be the boss of what goes on behind the scenes there at DTB Wealth. And what is your role and uh, what does the team look like? Yes, Marius, um, I'm the practice manager of the business, officially the director of operations. And one of my big roles is the compliance, looking after that and um, to see that everything runs seamlessly behind the scenes, to look after our clients, to give them the best um, experience. And um, that will not be possible if I do not have Leanne and Eileen on my side as well. Um, they're very passionate and they take, take care in what they do. What does the future hold for DTB Wealth? The future is as exciting as it ever was and more exciting. One of the, one of the concerns for me obviously was a, a, to have a, a succession plan because our relationships with our clients are not just, we don't just take a file and put them in the box, that's not how we deal. We, all three of us in our own way, have a, an approach of dealing with people on a personal level and integrating their people, uh, the, your goals and objectives together with with obviously a financial plan, because that's what we're there for, but we like to merge the two together. And I am so excited and so proud, because I know that all the all, all our clients are going to be completely comfortable working, particularly with uh, Adam and David in the future. I'm still here for a while. I'm not going to run away. Um, I, eventually, I will, I'm going to move into some other strategic stuff. But the future of the business is solid, caring, and we will continue focusing on the same approach as we always have before, that you as an individual are important and we want to know your background and all those personal issues and then we integrate it with the financial um, issues and I've no doubt that it's going to be a very successful business going forward. Mm -hmm.